out and around the world. He's the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hi everybody, it's me, Stinky, and today is going to be so cool. You see, Jake was away, so I got to invite the guests, and I invited me. Jake is going to be so excited about having me as a guest. Oh, and oh yeah, the other guest is some rattlesnake named Victor. But What? Oh, here oh, comes no. Jake. Oh, uh, Hiya, Jake. Oh, oh, oh hi, Stinky. Uh, hello, all you little animals out there. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, no <laughs> problem. Everything is under control. Oh, great, great. Uh, wait till I tell you who the guests are on oh, today's oh, oh. show. Yes, tell me, tell me. I can't wait. Who are the guests? Me. You? But you're always on the show. Yeah, but today I'm a guest. You love it, right? Uh, oh, sure, why not? I mean, I suppose it can't hurt just once, but but who is our other guest? The other guest? Oh, well, he's just some rattlesnake named Victor. A rattlesnake? Yeah, he's just That's a snake. That's wonderful, Stinky, well, wonderful. Oh, yeah. oh, I've never met a rattlesnake before. And a skunk, before. too. Yes, but a rattlesnake. <sighs> oh, that's the best. Oh, thank you. Mwah, and a thank skunk. You. I, there's a skunk, too. Oh, I can't wait to meet that <sighs> rattlesnake. Oh, we'll be boy. right back after this. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today is the deadly caterpillar. Uh, oh, come on. How could a dinky little caterpillar be deadly? Ah, the cinnabar moth caterpillar is very deadly because it eats the poisonous ragwort plant. This plant doesn't harm the caterpillar, but it does make the caterpillar harmful to anyone who might try to eat it. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, how about that? The cinnabar moth caterpillar. Yeah, yet another one of those animals that'll make you say, That's amazing! Oh. Is it time? Is it time? Do, could I introduce the rattlesnake? Do we yeah, get to meet yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go please, ahead. Go oh ahead. boy, uh, let's take a look at one of the most exotic animals in the world, the rattlesnake. Mm. Oh, look, there he is, sidewinding across the desert. That's what they call it when a snake moves like that, sidewinding. I am really impressed. Wow. I wish I could move like that. Well, gee, Jake, a polar bear would look pretty silly slithering across the desert on its belly. Oh, oh stinky. Uh, <laughs> and now it is my great pleasure to introduce all the way from the southwestern United States, Victor the Rattlesnake. Have I slithered into the right place? Were you expecting a rattlesnake? Yes, Victor. It's marvelous to have you here with us. That's very kind of you, Jake. Rattlesnakes are so often misunderstood. Yeah, well, maybe that's because you're poisonous, huh? Right, Stinky. Rattlesnakes are poisonous and have very sharp fangs. But I'm sure you only bite if you're in danger or if you need to defend yourself. That is correct. Yeah. You should never, ever bother a rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Hey, that's cool, your tail rattles. Don't touch the tail. Oops, sorry. Uh, Victor, tell us more about the fascinating life of rattlesnakes. Mm, thank you. Uh. You see, we rattlesnakes are peaceful animals who like nothing better than to rest in the hot sun. Oh, well, why do you have a rattle on your tail? That's how we warn other animals to stay away. Oh, but I, I see you don't have fur. No, we have scales. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, why is that snake's eyes all clouded up like that? Oh, that just means that the snake is about to shed his old skin, like that. Oh. Rattlesnakes shed our outside layer of skin as a way of keeping clean. Hmm. You know, Victor, I've heard that there's something special about the way a rattlesnake sees. That's right, Jake. Rattlesnakes can see like other animals, but they can also see by feeling the heat that other animals give off. Fascinating. Rattlesnakes have something called a pit organ that lets us feel the body heat of other animals. Uh, there's an example of how we see body heat. Wow. The different colors show the parts of the animal that give off the most heat. That's very impressive. You know, that desert rat doesn't even know you're there. And when he's right in range, mm, zap, and we get him. Mm. And then we just wait for the poison to take effect. Oh. <laughs> you know, not everyone appreciates a rattlesnake's special skills. 
I've always heard you rattlesnakes can do a neat trick with a balloon. Oh, not the balloon trick. Oh, the balloon trick? Oh, that sounds neato. Mm. I want to see it. Yeah. All right. It's just a trick. It shows that we're quick and have sharp fangs. Mm. Here it comes. <laughs> Pop! Whoa! Wow. <laughs> that was cool! Do it again, do yeah, it rewind, again! Rewind, oh, rewind, all right, rewind! All right. yeah. Whoa! Here it is. Uh, Pop. Yo! Oh, wow. wow! Unbelievable! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh. Boy, Victor, I sure want you around if I'm ever attacked by a balloon. Yeah. You rattlesnakes are quick, powerful, dangerous. And totally unafraid of inflated objects. Mm. Oh, well, you're both too kind. Well, thank you for being here, Victor. It was great to meet you. Yeah, Victor, you're no skunk, but <clears throat> you are a pretty neat guy. Thank you. And Stinky. Yeah? Don't touch the tail. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, bye, bye, Victor. Bye. Thank Say, you for coming. Stinky, hmm? do you like to play hide and seek? Oh, sure, who doesn't? Then watch this baby, baby talk. talk. Okay, okay, I'm it. Ollie, Ollie, musk oxen free. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Okay, where are you? You can't hide from me. I know you're out there somewhere. Hmm. Uh, maybe I will, uh, oh, I will look over here, yeah. <laughs> You'll never spot us. Yeah, we look just like boulders. Quiet, nobody move. Uh, um, I gotta sneeze. No, no, not now, Cindy. Oh, I know, I know, you're over there. Yeah, I bet you're over there. I'm gonna roll over there, and I'm gonna catch you guys. You're, you're just over this hill. I can tell that you are, you can, I can, oh, we, Oh, wait, you're not there. Wait, oh, I know, you're over this way. Yeah, yeah, now it's, oh, uh. I really gotta snip, snip, that now, Cindy. Sneeze, achoo! Aha, uh -huh. found you. Nice going, Cindy. Achoo! Hey, Jake, if I hid, would you look for me? Why, of course I would, Stinky. Oh, that's good. I was beginning to think maybe you liked Victor more than me. Oh, don't be silly. It's just that snakes are such interesting animals. More interesting than skunks? Well, listen to this. Music grows in the rose. Rock and rain and the blowing snowstorm Everything seems to sing everywhere I go I say want to, play me do Let me sound as sweet as you Play me wide, play me long Let me be your song Lay me down on the ground Song comes singing from the midnight places Raise me high in the sky Song comes drifting through I say want to, play me do Let me sound as sweet as you Play me wide, play me long Let me be your song Well, I guess snakes are pretty cool. Oh, I'm glad you agree, Stinky. And I think skunks are uh, pretty cool, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, thank you, Jake. Hey, you want to see the neat skunk stuff I put together? Uh, right after uh, Tizzy. And here she comes now. <laughs> Ooh, I'm Tizzy. Time for my quiz. Ooh, hi, Tizzy. Hello, Tizzy. Tizzy. How's it buzzing, Tiz? Ooh, ready for the quiz? Mm. Most frighten off animals that try to eat it. Give it a think. Back in a buzz. <sighs> we give up, Tizzy. Yeah, give us one more look. Watch. <laughs> How does this moth frighten off animals that try to eat it? The moth's colors make it look bigger and scarier than it really is. So no one wants to mess with this moth. So, pretend you're a hungry bird, and you're thinking, hmm, I'd really feel like eating a moth today. And you think you see a moth, but then you see those bright colors, and you say, that doesn't look like food. 
That looks like it tastes terrible, so you don't eat it. Instead, you fly away and look for another moth. And wait, there's one now. You're sure that's a moth? But when you look again, you see something that looks like big eyes. That can't be a delicious moth. With those eyes, that must be a snake. You don't want to fight a snake. You just want moth for dinner. So you fly off, still hungry. But guess what? That really was a moth. A moth that fooled you and protected itself with the colors and patterns on its wings. Hey, I better get going. Where are you going? Well, I've got to get ready for my big entrance. After all, I am one of today's special guests. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be back with our special, special guest, Stinky, right after Eve St. LaRoche shows us how to eat like a rattlesnake. Ah, oh, oui, mother. Ah, oui, my mama. Oh, oui. Oh, certainement. Oh, uh, uh, pardon them. I have a little business to attend to. <clears throat> Bonjour, all you animal friends out there. Now, today I am supposed to talk to you about eating like a rattlesnake. But as you can see, I'm on the phone to my mama and have no time for such silliness. So, until next time, bon appétit and uh, call your mama. Maybe she knows something about eating like a rattlesnake. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 not you, Mama. No, 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 Mama, I was talking. Sorry, Mama. Ma Mama. She hung up. Thank you, Eve. Well, it's time to meet our next guest. Read the introduction I gave you. Uh, right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and now it is my honor to present the most fragrant and fantastic animal of all time. Uh, a friend to animals everywhere, the world's favorite skunk, Stinky the Skunk. Cue the applause. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. You're too sweet. Thank you. Are you finished? Can we talk about skunks now? Oh, I would love to talk about skunks. Thank you for suggesting it. That's very sweet. I didn't. You did. Oh, well, whatever. Roll tape. <sighs> you see, my loving audience, skunks are the most misunderstood animal in the world. All anyone ever talks about is our smell, our aroma. Our odor. You stink. Well, that's right. But that smell isn't there to harm or offend. You could have fooled me. You see, Jake, we skunks use that smell to defend ourselves and protect our young. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, you know, you skunks are kind of cute when you're little and, and sleeping like that. Yeah. Right? Now, there's Mom. She's putting the babies to bed for the night. Oh. Good night, John boy. <laughs> Good night, Peter. Good night, Sue. Good night, Davy and Stevie. Oh. Look, there comes Frank. Well, it looks more, sort, sort of like she's eating Frank. I... Oh, no, she's not eating them. You see, she's carrying them in her mouth. That's uh... how mother skunks carry their young, by the neck. N does it hurt the baby skunks? Oh, not at all. We skunks are very gentle and caring. Oh, look, there's Brian. He hates to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Right. We skunks have it all. And to share the wonders of skunkdom, I have put together a special presentation called The Skunk's Perfect Day. Lucky us. Roll film. A skunk's day begins with a cool, refreshing swim in the lake. Uh, don't look now, Stinky, but I think he's being followed by a dust mop. That is his tail, Jake. Anyway, we skunks do enjoy a healthy exercise. Doing the skunky paddle is a great way to begin the day. But now, after a delightful swim, it is time to come on shore. You know, a skunk will live almost anywhere that there is water. Where do you suppose he's headed now? Well, after the swim, it's time for breakfast. And then after breakfast, he's going to find some friends, and together, these skunks will go off, as only skunks can, to make the world a little brighter, a little nicer... And a whole lot smellier. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks a lot, Jake. You ruined my story. Oh, you're right, Stinky. I was unfair. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, and you won't make fun of our smell again? I won't, I won't, because a skunk smell is, is just your way of defending yourself. Well, that's right. Our tail is our greatest defense. Yeah. On guard. Oh, uh, how, how would you like to sing for us? <gasps> sing? You want me to sing, really? Uh, no, but it's better than the tail thing. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and now, ready or not, here's my good pal Stinky with the skunk song. Don't understand why 
Stinky. I just hope things can get back to normal. Now. Ah, my adoring fan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Not. I'll you. take care of him while I you jump you. aboard for today's Animal Mwah. Awards. Mwah. And now, it's time for the Animal Awards. Today, we find out which invertebrate is the best jumper. Invertebrate? Mm -hmm. What is an invertebrate? An invertebrate is an animal without a backbone. Whoa. Hmm. Which of these invertebrates is the best jumper? Is it? The locust, the water springtail, or the common springtail? Look at that. In third place is the locust. In second place, the common springtail. So, the best invertebrate jumper is the water springtail. Hey. <sighs> Congratulations to the water springtail. And congratulations to me. You mean for being a skunk? Right you are. Well, then you'll love today's story. It's about a skunk. A skunk named Stinky. I love it! Yeah, and it's called Stinky's Bad Day. I just stopped loving it. Once upon a time, there was a skunk called Stinky. He was walking along. Do you have to show this? Now, little did he know that he was being watched by a snake. Ugh. As he walked, not paying any attention to where he was going. Well, I was thinking about something. He stepped right on a prickly cactus. Oh, brother. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, 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 he said. Oh, that really, really hurts. And then he ran around trying to get it off of his foot. Just then said the snake. What are you doing here, skunk? This is no. my spot. You can stop the tape now. Fortunately for Stinky, this snake was not poisonous, but he was angry. He didn't want any skunk in his favorite spot. No, oh, brother. Hey, you, get off of my sand. Okay, no. okay, I'm no. leaving. Sheesh, said Stinky. Hate to watch that. And so the little skunk learned one of the most valuable lessons of life in the wild. Watch where you're going or you might never get there. The end. Oh, that wasn't very nice. But it was funny. <laughs> well, as it was. <laughs> Well, howdy, partners. It's habitat time here at your old pal Ollie's Animal Show Corral. Armstrong? Armstrong! Uh, Ollie, I'm on the hip. Under where? Under here. Under I'm straw. Strong. I can't put good. What are you doing under the straw? I'm strong. <laughs> it's habitat time. Come on. <laughs> there you are, and there's your hat. Just Ollie, in time. Ollie, what's with, what's with the silly hat, huh? We're headed out west today, Armstrong. Uh, where out west? They're hey. out west, on the North American prairie, uh, where never is heard a discouraging word. Yeah, uh, yeah, except when buffalo steps on your foot. <laughs> oh, that's smart. And speaking uh, of buffalo, let's shuffle off to the prairie. Oh, boy. Look at those buffalo. Oh, yeah, hey, guys, how you doing? Now, there was a time when buffalo roamed the prairie in great numbers. 
Oh, yeah? What happened to them? Well, they were hunted until there were almost none of them left. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, but now the buffalo are protected, and they're making a comeback. Oh, way to go, buffalo! Way to go, buffalo! Way Ollie. to go, buffalo! Uh, Ollie, you want to come down? We got to back to the thing. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> ah, now those animals there look like beavers, right? Uh, right, yeah. Wrong! What? <laughs> Huh? They're prairie dogs. Oh, um, off, off. What are you doing? I'm just trying to talk to them in their native tongue. No, Armstrong. Even though they're called prairie dogs, they're not related to Rover or Spot or any dog you might know. Oh, really? Uh, uh, hey, what are those reindeer doing here? Uh, excuse me, where's Rudolph? <laughs> no, those may look like reindeer, but they're really pronghorn antelope. They live in large herds and roam the prairie looking for food and for water. Huh. Whoa, who is that good-looking bird? That is a sage grouse. Uh, whoa. Sage grouse can blow oh. up their chest oh. to look bigger. Habba, habba. <laughs> whoa, look at that there. Whoa. Calm down, Armstrong. Now, <laughs> now, by making itself look bigger, the sage grouse can keep other larger animals from bothering it. Oh, yeah, that's some trick mm. there. Hey, I wonder if that sage grouse could give me a few lessons. <laughs> <laughs> so you like the western prairie? <laughs> yippee i call <-ay. laughs> Well, partner, it's time to mosey on back home. Hey, hey, hey. This is Holly the Tapir. Hey, oh, and me. Riding up hey. into the sunset. Woo! Zzz, guess what? Zzz, zzz, zzz. It's Tizzy quiz time. What's the quiz, Tizzy? Yeah, is it about skunks? No. It's about fish. <laughs> In what secret way does this weaver fish protect itself? Give it a think. <laughs> well, did you guess the answer? Mm. Uh, yeah, the answer is skunks. Nope, but here's the question again. <laughs> Do you know the secret way a weaver fish protects itself? Well. See those spines? They're covered with poison! Believe it! Thank you, Tizzy, for another quiz. And thank you, Ollie the Tapir! Mm. Whoa, whoa. You too, oh, Eve! And a special thanks to our special guest, Victor the Rattlesnake! And an extra special thanks to our extra special guest, Stinky the Skunk. Oh, thank you, Jake! Oh, stinky. Oh. And so until next time, to all you little animals out there, keep on flapping, swimming, swinging, and rattling. But whatever you do, don't, don't touch, touch the tail. Bye-bye.